It's that time again. We are off to Kiso today. The weather is absolutely horrible. Let me turn the camera around. It's windy and rainy. Why is it whenever we go to shows, the weather is like this? I have no idea. Um, anyway, we're off to Kiso this weekend with Brian. It's currently Thursday. We're there until Sunday. Um, I'm really, really excited, actually. I've been looking forward to this show for a while now. As I absolutely love it at Kiso. It's so lovely there. Um... We was going to bring Mary along and I did actually book her a stable just to come for the experience but I woke up this morning and I feel absolutely horrible um, I literally could barely even muck out, I have no energy, I still don't feel too great um, so we've made the decision that it's probably not the best idea to bring Mary as she's probably going to be a bit stressy um, and not so easy to look after so we were like you know what there's no like we don't need to so let's just pull her out um, she wasn't going to jump any classes anyway. So then it's one less horse to look after. I don't have to worry about stressing over her stressing. Um, so yeah, she's not coming anymore. She's going to be staying here. I've got a lot to sort out. We're leaving about one-ish. And I've literally packed nothing. I've literally only just packed my clothes. I need to pack the whole lorry. I need to wash Brian. Um, we've got a lot to do. A lot. So yeah, let's get going and... I'll try and show you as much as possible. So I've just had to bring Brian in as he's out in the field shivering where it's raining and cold. Not a fan of the rain, are you, boy? Oh, no. He's a lot happier now he's actually in. Aren't you? You're not happier. I know, I'm sorry. He's not impressed with me. No, he's not. Let me get you a carrot. You want a carrot? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the lorry is packed. I'm just going to show you now. Just need to move these hay over here somewhere. Rug box is there. My ice cream is right in here. Uh, saddle rack to clean my saddle. I've got some show rugs up there. My car is packed because I'm going to drive ahead in my car. My mum's got to drive home um, Saturday and leave me there. So I've just got buckets of some carrots in, water buckets, um, and Brian's mash bucket, ice gel, some Foran pre-fuel pre and refuel gel. Pre-fuel supports support for maximum performance and rapid recovery. And then the refuel is like an electrosol replenishment um, and helps with, again, recovery. Drake's underneath here and here. I've got three of them to shavings to come, fork broom, more plating bands, some lickets, stable stuff, water bucket, skip bucket, Brian's favourite treat, stub muffins. Um, and then saddle lockers. All saddle pads here, boots, whip, first aid, saddle, girth. And then in here we've got massage rug, all clothes, hat, boots, camera. And then all my clothes are in the wardrobe. So I'm just going to go in, have something to eat, come out, wash Brian's legs, and then we should be ready to go. Driving behind the lorries today, um, so Mum can drive home in my car on Saturday. This is the first time I've done this. This is um, gonna feel a little bit weird, but we're here. Well, not yet, but we're nearly there. Just driving up the road now. I do not recommend videoing or vlogging whilst driving, but I'm on the road now. Luckily, it's quite quiet. I'm literally driving like 20 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, really smooth journey. Took me about two and a half hours. We left 
after um, around half one and it's currently I think 3.44 so yeah actually I think two hours 15 it took me um, it was a really good journey actually so yeah I'm just going to um, pull in and sort Brian Stable out ready for them to arrive in about 25 minutes time um, so at least everything will be ready for him to just come straight in rather than him having to wait around which I much prefer so yeah we're just pulling up to the entrance now Hopefully the security will let me in because I'm in a car and not in a lorry, but there's the car park there. This is the main entrance. Rise is stable, ready for him. Mum is here with Rizy. Just going to go and get him now. You know Tiffany. Hello. Waiting for the new stable, mister. No, 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 Settled. Yeah, it is in the stable all settled. Um, I'm just taking Luna back now to the lorry to drive the car back round to the car park. Luna knows where she's going, don't you, Luna? It's ready for a ride. Yes. Oh, face. We are going for a ride. Just looking over to the indoor now to ride in the mall, which is over there. Outdoor arena that you might recognise from my Tuesday vlogs last year. Just walking Brazy off, he's very fresh. <sighs> just gave him a quick wall trot and canter just to stretch his legs. Um, very good boy. He's a bit fresh. <laughs> um, a bit spooky as well, but to be expected. Hey Brazy, he's looking fresh. Mr. Brazy's dinner. What is dinner? I had to figure out what to do. I'll do some tack cleaning now with my tours tack cleaner, which is here. Love this stuff, it smells absolutely amazing. They have like so many different scents. Um, it's actually all natural, fantastic products. Here we go. code down below for you guys to use if you want to order they also do some hot oils which i actually love i'm gonna try and see if you can see kind of hard to clean with one hand but you can just see how shiny it makes the tack and that is with a dry sponge straight in to the top like the difference in literally and i'm not even putting really any pressure on it look at the difference before and after so before dirty tack. I am useless and forgot to do an after, but here is an after anyway. Look how shiny, love. And then my saddle's in there, but my girl's here. Look how shiny. Let's bandage Brazy up. Bandaged up. Now it's time for dinner. Make his dinner. I can go over and have my dinner. Give him his dinner. Come in, back up. Come on. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. He's rugged up, ready for bed. Skipped out. Um. <laughs> Morning, guys. I haven't been talking over. Two stables. Halfway that leads down. Look at the sky. Very pretty. You have to basically go to the end and then turn left. And then the stables are down there. Currently like seven o'clock. I'm not jumping until um, half one on Brian and then half two in my second class. Jumping one ten and one twenty today. Um, so yeah, really excited to jump him. Um, just gonna arrive now and feed him, muck him out, and then I'll take him for a walk with a stretch. And then I'll probably come back to have some breakfast and watch 
and the people in her jump. Rising! Rising! Hello, hey, the bookie! Good boy. Missy bed. Missy bed. Can the bridey from the in the indoor? Stretch his legs this morning. More like Bryzy's taking me for a walk this morning. Can't even keep up with him. Bryzy being very spooky, aren't we? See Arena. He's like, I don't want to go near that. It's scary. You're always looking for me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Always looking for me, aren't you? Always looking for me. I'm going to be two now. The Queen of the Castle. Some sausages and rolls for breakfast. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's really freezing out there. Um, I'm waiting on breakfast whilst mum takes Luna for a wee. Um, and then once we have breakfast, I'll go over and maybe get changed out of my pajamas and probably watch a couple of people jump. Then we're gonna go back and give Brian his lunch. Lunch time. Oh. Look at this. See? You've got to jump. Come get out, mate. Go so much rock time. We're gonna just be ready now. He was a naughty boy in the 110. Don't kiss him, he was bad. He decided that he'd try and trot over the first fence. <laughs> Didn't you? You tried to trot over the first fence. Oh, you bad horse. And then he jumped clear afterwards, so that's great. Waiting for the 120 now because we were late for the last class. Have you done better?
so frustrating. He just had the um, second to last jump down. I didn't really do all that much wrong, to be honest. And maybe I was a little bit, tiny bit deeper than I'd like to have been, but there definitely wasn't a deep stride and he just didn't even pick up in front. Um, but to be fair, he jumped a lot better than he did in the on 10. He was a lot more forward, a lot more buzzy. Um, so I can't be disappointed with that. Where are you going? Um, so I'm just walking back to the stables now. And we'll attack him and ice boot him. So yeah, a bit of a frustrating day, but that's how it goes. You know, you can't always do well. So this is the point of that. Well, this proves that, I mean. Ice booty time. Doop tuna. All tacks here. Just waiting to put you in, aren't we? We move over to the Brizzy, taking for a walk. Got his dinner here, maybe breakfast. Um, See, so yeah, I'm still going over, taking for a walk. Um, then I'll feed him, bandage him up. Uh, today wasn't our best day, that's for sure. Um, the 110, he went really green coming to the first fence. So on landing, I had to give him a couple of smacks on the neck just to kind of be like, wake up a little bit. And then um, he woke up and then coming around to number two, he kind of spooked and kind of tried to veer off. Managed to keep him in, but I was a bit messy. And from that round to number three, he really cut the corner. I tried to keep him out, but he's quite, he likes to cut corners. And that's just the way he is now. Like if I don't, if I try and properly get him into the corner, it just breaks his rhythm. Um, so that was a great. And then the rest of the round was fine. He tapped quite a few of the matches. He didn't jump great. Um, and then in the 120, he was definitely a lot more awake. He jumped a lot better. Was really taking me around. Felt really confident. And then we had that bloody seconds last fence down. Um, he felt really good. He just didn't pick up. I don't really know what happened. I feel like um, where the pole underneath was a bit zigzag, he kind of misjudged it and looked at the second pole rather than the top pole, which is really frustrating as I think we'd have finished second um, and it was £300 for winning that class. So, but anyway, I'm going to go um, feed him and take him for a walk now and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Just taking Mr. Brizey for a walk. He keeps on trying to eat the hedge that's next to the outdoor arena. Honestly. Um, yeah, just taking for a walk now. Nosy. At the dressage arenas. Trust me, you'd never be able to go in there. No, you're not dressage tools. No, you're not. No, that's bandage Brizey up. Bit time. Walking around the showground in the dark with that torch, it's petrifying. Oh, there's really not many lights around here until you get to the stables. Oh my god. Anyway, it's walking over. It's by the stable now. Let's finish them off. It's freezing. Oh. Finish the boy off, skip him out, check his water, see if he needs any more hay. Ready to put him to bed. God. Barn on the end. Another barn. This is our barn. It's crazy. Hey. Oh. This is my horsey. Oh. Brizzy skipped out. Rugs. Next up. Just need to empty your skip. You tired, boy? Ooh, you're not tired, stop lying. It's not Bedtime snack. It's not finished. Eat that with us. We're not finished. No, you're not finished yet. Hello, Rosie. I'm enjoying his lick at the moment. <laughs> Go and have your lick. No, no. Good morning, everyone. Back again. Uh, it is Saturday morning. <laughs> I forgot the day of work. Um, today I'm not jumping until this afternoon. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically that. So I'm jumping this afternoon. Um, I'm just walking over now. It's currently like half seven. A bit late this morning, not gonna lie. Very tired last night and I was very nice and snuggly in bed. Whereas um, yesterday I wasn't very warm, so I just jumped up. Um, but it's not the end of the world. I just like to go up early up because I feel bad um, with all the other horses getting fed if they don't get fed. Um, but I know that there's a couple of people down my road that get up earlier than me, so I'm sure a couple of them would have already been fed. But anyway, I'm just walking over there now, nearly at the end of the walkway. Then I will go and muck him out like yesterday, um, feed him, hay him, and then we'll take him for a walk in the freezing cold. So yeah, that's my plan. Lovely fresh evening. We've got going on here. Very bright. There's loads of people over here. I feel so bad. He's probably like, where's my mommy? I'm here. I'm here now for you. Brazy now, eating his carrot. Me and Brazy having our morning walk. Well, I wish it didn't have to have a morning walk. But it's having his morning walk. It's very cold. Hey, Brazy. Very cold this morning. Hayed watered, mucked out. Just need to change his rug. Over to um, take Brian for another walk, second walk of the day, so windy, um, then I'll give him his lunch, but yeah, we'll shake, there we are, Brian will change, taking Bridie for a hand walk again, before we get his massage rug on, ready for our class. Massage rug time, nice and relaxed, <laughs> nice and relaxed. So sorry I didn't update you guys earlier, it's getting very dark now. Um, I'm just taking Brian for a ham walk um, for as his dinner. He jumped absolutely amazing with me today. Uh, it was quite a rush in between the 120 and the 130 um, because I was first to go in the, one, in the 130 so I had to be warmed up before the course walk. So I literally untacked him for the 120, gave him five minutes and then I had to tuck him back off again. So it was all a bit of a stress, stressy stress, stress. Um, but as you would have seen, he had one down in the 120. Um, one, he 
had the yeah, yeah the first part of the double down in the 120 because for some reason the distance is absolutely awful um it was a very very short six but it was too long to be a five so he got so deep into the double and just had the first part which is so frustrating because he jumped so so well and really deserved that clear it was really really frustrating and then in the 130 they had the exactly the same line um so i walked in i was like right i'm gonna jump the upright to the right and um kind of widen the, the distance to myself but um that flopped as he kind of tried to jump it to the left so mid-air i kind of pulled him to the right and it was a stupid decision because he just kind of went inverted over it and had it down but he cleared the double afterwards so it was a bit hard because if i hadn't done that he would have cleared the upright but then he probably would have had the double down or could have crashed through it where um the distance was too short anyway really really frustrating but you know that's how it is um overly overall i'm really happy with him as he was amazing for me so yeah really happy i'm just gonna go back now and take him and um, let him have his dinner and yeah he's having his din dins good boy ready for the night over later now and put his neck up skip him out and yeah just finish him off just finished brizey off put his neck up bandages were on earlier i can't really see just gave him a bit more hay over there got his lick it just about to walk back to the lorry now with the wheelbarrow. Um, that is day two complete. Well, technically like day three, but day two of jumping complete. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, it's calm in the morning. Good morning. It is the last morning at Kiso. Look how tight I am. Oh my God, my eyes are so crusty. Anyway. It's currently like seven o'clock. Just going out now to do my regulars. Feed, hay, muck out. Taking for a walk. I'm not jumping until 3.15 today, which is great. Um, so we like to get home early, but the thing is, even if I chose to jump the 110, I'd still be jumping at like 2.15. So an hour difference isn't really, doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna, Stick with the 120s, he's jumped better bigger, despite the fact I can't go as quick when they're bigger. And it's a speed class today. I need to practice some of the big stuff ready for blue chip, so fingers crossed we have a clear today. If not, you know what? It's not been our show. He's jumped amazing. It's been really unlucky. Like he's jumped better this week than he did last week, I thought. But luck just hasn't been on our side. Anyway, new at the stable, so we'll feed Brian and then I'll update you guys in a bit. Breakfast is served. Oh, your mum. We are hayed, fed, watered, mucked out. <sighs> Just need to change the rugs, take the badges off, empty this muck. Um, take it for a walk and then I'm going to slowly start taking down all our drapes and stuff. Last morning walks of the show. I'm actually quite looking forward to going home. Feeling very tired this morning. No, hey, Brazzy, we're going there. Oh, come on, we're in there. Brazzy's definitely not feeling tired, he's dragging me around. Aren't you? <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> Bye. So my sister's just left to stay with us. Um, last night, my mum um, went home to go to a concert. Um, but my mum is going to be back with my dad about 1pm, which is about half an hour, um, to watch our last class. Um, I'm so excited to just go home now. Um, I've had a really nice time, don't get me wrong. But I'm knackered, um, 
I'm missing Mary and Rai Rai. And let's go home. <laughs> washing Brian off now, put his ice boots on and then we'll get ready to leave. Oh boy, I'm so annoyed. We had the fastest time by four seconds. I just wish I just sat him up and he would have been fine. Oh, this weekend has been very frustrating. Great time. Oh boy. It's empty. We are ready to go. Brian's bandaged up, rugged up. Mum's just going to come back with a wheelbarrow so we can leave. No pops. Last, but it's really frustrating as they've all been really stupid unlucky poles that could have been avoided but that's small um just happy to be going home come on we're going Don't be horrible, Tim. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> no, Rosie. Go see bye bye. Bye bye. Here's a puffle. Oh, I missed you, puffle. Aww. Yum. Rosie. Happy to be home. Mr. Ryan, Ryan. Hello. Rise's dinner with carrots for Mary and Ryan. We are back home as you would have seen um, with the boys. Boys? Brian. Um, we're back with the boys though, Brian and Ryan and the girl, Mary. Um, honestly, he was really, really good this weekend. I'm really disappointed. I don't know why. I'm not usually this disappointed. Um, but I am really disappointed this weekend with our results. Not because he didn't jump well, because he honestly jumped absolutely incredible. Like, usually if we have a bad show and we have poles, um, he just isn't jumping great. But he jumped absolutely, like, phenomenal for me. Um, apart from the 110 on the first day, it wasn't great. But, like, in the 120 on the... Friday and then the one the 120 and the 130 and then the 120 today like he jumped absolutely incredible for me I couldn't have asked anything more of him so like the poles were just an absolute like it's just so frustrating like to have had that one pole in each class because he really really deserved like to win especially today he literally jumped out of his skin for me and he deserved that win like so so much and he absolutely loves prize givings and presentations and lap of honours. And like they were doing them this weekend. So it's a real shame that like the one time they actually do prize givings, we didn't get placed a single time. Um, so yeah, it's really, really frustrating as he was actually three seconds faster than the winner in the 120. So I'm kind of really kicking myself because I went as I went into the arena, my dad was like, oh, like the lead is really, really fast. Like you're gonna have to go for it. So I thought, crap, like, okay, I'm gonna go for it, go for it. Um, 
and I just overly went for it. Like I did not need to go for it that much. But obviously I didn't know that because I didn't see how fast the leader went. And don't get me wrong, they were really fast. I don't really know how I actually shaved three seconds off. Um, but like I'm just really frustrated myself for not setting him up to that double better. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's me being really picky because so many other people come into that double really strongly and manage to jump out. But just where he's a bit older now, like he's not as quick to snap up coming out. Like sometimes we get lucky, but just typical today we just didn't get lucky and he had it down coming out and um that definitely wasn't a fence that i thought that he would have had down um but yeah really really frustrating to be honest um but i'm gonna take the positives from it and we had a great show overall like he jumped really well i felt like i rode him actually pretty decently and um, i didn't really feel like i was panicking at all um especially in the 130 i'm so happy with how the 130 went i didn't like tell anyone that i was jumping it before because i was kind of a bit panicky like i put him in for it only after jumping on the friday um i just was like you know what screw it i spoke to a couple of people they were like just do it so i just chucked him in it without even telling my mom my mom was absolutely fuming with me when i um told her and I'm honestly so over moon that I did decide to jump it now as he actually jumped out of his skin for me. Like, jumped absolutely incredible in that 130. Um, don't get me wrong, he did tap some, but like the shape he was making, the effort he was putting in, he's honestly just such a gem. Um, so yeah, honestly, I couldn't be happier with him. Uh, so there is a lot to take away from this weekend. Like, I felt like my indoor um, arena riding has come on really well um, and I feel like I'm very confident now for blue chip with my indoor arena riding and Brian jumping indoors again and I definitely feel like we are um, set up ready for blue chip in a couple of weeks time and um, I say a couple of weeks time it's literally in I think just over a month um, but that is it now for Brian for shows um, before blue chip he's going to have a couple of quiet weeks um, just keeping him fit no jumping um, and then like two weeks before blue chip we'll start building him back up again jump him a couple of times and then go straight to blue chip um he's a lot better when he goes on a break and he then goes to a show i definitely don't want to be consistently jumping him when he doesn't need to especially as he's getting older i want to save him so yeah i'm really really excited and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog uh, from kiso and yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. No, she got the good vibes when seasons.